Hey you guys, what's up? I'm back with my daughter Kylie and today we're going to show you guys how to do easy individual box braids with no cornrows. So let's get started. So starting off what I'm doing, I'm just taking Kylie's hair and I'm going to go ahead and begin to section it. And I like to section it in triangular shapes. The reason why I like to do triangles that way, whenever the braids are down, there is no distinctive line of demarcation. It's like it's filling in the spaces almost. So it's like laying bricks to a certain extent. So I got my first section parted and now I'm just plaiting her hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and just French braid or three strands her braid all the way down. As you can see, I am doing that now and I'm doing that all the way to the end. So I'm just parting her hair and I'm just braiding her hair, parting and plaiting and just braiding her hair all the way to the end like so. And once again, I'm parting in triangular or diamond shapes. As you guys can see, you're pretty much going to braid the entire head like this, so it will look like this. And Kylie, I told her hair will stay like this, and y'all, she was not having it. She did not like her hair; it flats all over. She, I don't know, such a little drama queen. But you're going to braid all of her hair, and it should look like this, nice and even all the way around. So next we're going to go get started with the crochet braids. So what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and take one box braid, crochet box braid, I have my phone going off. You're going to take a crochet needle, you're going to loop the needle underneath the braid itself. You're going to put the crochet braid on the latch, hook it, and pull it straight through underneath the plaited braid. So you're going to pull it straight through, then you're going to latch the end of it and pull it through the hoop. And then you're going to secure it tightly to her scalp, making sure not to jumble up her actual braid. So you have two separate strands just like this. Now you're going to take your crochet needle and begin crocheting her hair through the braid hair. So it's kind of like crocheting a blanket or like knitting. You're going to go through the crochet braid, latch her hair, and just pull it through. And you want to go through every other strand or every other loop just to guarantee that the braids do not come loose. So as you can see, I'm just knitting or crocheting her real hair through the actual crochet braid itself so it will become one. And it can get a little tricky. At first, when I first started doing it, I wasn't um, crocheting the braid, so crocheting her hair close. I was going maybe every four loops, but you definitely want to do like every maybe two loops, every two loops, three loops. So once again, you're going to go ahead and put the needle underneath the braid itself, grab the crochet box braid, pull it through. Then once again, you're going to latch on the very end, slide it through the hoop, the circular hoop, secure it tight to the scalp. Make sure you pull down her crochet braid. Then begin to just go ahead and knit her braid through the crochet box braid itself. And I swear you guys, it is very, very easy, very simple to do. Now I will tell y'all, it did take me quite a while. I know this video is only six minutes and 33 seconds, but y'all, this took me forever to do. And like I've told you guys before, every time I braid Kylie hair, y'all, me and Kylie always get into it. We stay into it. But I mean, these braids last a long time. And then a plus side to these is that these braids are all the same size, which makes them look even more uniform. And as you guys know with crochets themselves, once they get loose, all you have to do is just pull on the ends just to secure it a little bit tighter. 
So as you guys get the gist, you guys know what I'm doing. I'm, you know, securing more braids um, to her scalp. So I'm trying to complete her whole head. And I'm about to go ahead and just finish crocheting her hair through the box braid hair. Very, very easy, very simple to do. And what I like about these braids is that since they are individual and they are not cornrows, you can style them however you want to style them. So you can do, you know, all of your hair down. You can do for little girls some up, some down. You can do buns, you can do bangs, you can do whatever you want to do, you name it. These are very, very easy to do and very versatile and very, very neat. And I'm all about presentation, so it's very, very neat. So as you can see, I'm actually on my last one. Finishing up the final touches, and as you can see, it's done. And they all look the same size, very neat. Um, very easy to do once again, and really good for little girls. So as you can see, y'all, she loves her hair. Even though we fight, she loves it. And these can last anywhere from a couple of weeks to a month. So that was it. If you guys like this video, definitely thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And until next time, I'll see you down in just my next video. Peace out, y'all. Y'all be easy.